Hello, everybody, and welcome to the MCRAC Talk Show, episode number three. And today I want to talk to you guys all about um, my history of getting um, tape decks and, you know, I'm collecting all these audio cassettes and stuff like that. So basically around, it was around eight years ago, I believe it was. I remembered I was looking through a box that was hidden under the stairs with all our Christmas stuff. And we had a gear, um, a box that had all of my dad's old audio tapes that had music that he recorded back in, I believe, 1980, mostly 1985. And somewhere a little bit later, like 1987, 1990, around that range. It's quite interesting because I was still using cas like cassettes when I w was still listening to a lot of kids' music. I didn't record back y then yet, but... Then I um, started to record and music just for the heck of it. Because so I tried on an old um, radio. I pressed um, two fingers down on play by accident and somehow it was recording. I was like, oh, so that's how you record. So I thought to myself, maybe that's something I should do with CD. So that's what I did. And basically, and even older albums too, I just did that. So it's quite surprising. So I... And then about a few months later, during that time, it was in 2006 was when I first recorded a cassette just for fun. And then around a year later, I I got some of, of my dad's old tapes in um, boxes and drawers and stuff like that. Lots of old ones that my dad had and some old cassette types as well. Um, one of those old 80s cassette tapes from Maxell and all that. They were really quite interesting, and there's also some other brands, too, that he had. And I just mostly reused them and just put some different albums on them. Some I kept, but most of them I just taped over. And then, as the years went by, and still now, I still kept collecting um, new and used um, audio cassette tapes. And still record on them, and I still do. I still record on them at, at this day. But I just haven't. I just I just don't do them every day. I do them every once in a while. I record certain albums I like, and you know, mix song mix tapes and all that. This is really quite fun. And also, I about I'm gonna say in starting in 2012 or 2013, I I started to collect my own tape decks out of, of thrift shops and the recycling exchange mostly, because I used to volunteer at the recycling exchange here in Nanaimo and I used to work around with a lot of tape decks and all of lo all the electronics and basically I bought some most of the tape decks I have were from the recycling exchange but the ones that you you'll see in another video um actually weren't from the recycling exchange but they were from other thrift shops and I also got some other electronics for pretty cheap deals at thrift, local thrift shops here in Nanaimo or even out of town but mostly in Nanaimo and I just you're, to, I'm going to say you're not going to believe your eyes but in another video I'll make some t someday when I make a video of my cassette collection you're not going to believe your eyes of how many cassettes I have which I'm not going to tell you how many but it, I told some people this but t for all those that don't know I'm still not going to tell you because I, w I want you to be so surprised and impressed because it's very interesting. And even my vinyl records I'll share in the same video when I make it. Um, I, s I have a lot of great music. And even a lot of great mixes. Like there's rock, there's country, and I have, you know, a little bit jazz. Not very much. And then I have um, easy listening music and stuff like that. And also Christian music too. And it's really, um, you may, it's just so surprising too. And I remember when I first, I, I want to tell you this too, but I remember the first time when I had um, a soundboard in my bedroom um, six years ago. Um, my dad let me um, have his tape deck that used to be hooked up into the living room. So he, he was, I was like, oh, I could just get my own tape deck from just a thrift store. But he was like, no, no, you just you can just have mine because it's so weird we than spending your money. But I didn't really care anyway. But I just let I I was just gonna have my dad. So 
it's it's really cool and it's it's still a really great tape deck. At least I was able to use it, so it still works great. It's it's just around thirty years old right now. It so it still works great. I'm really glad to be using it, and I also have some other extra decks too, which I keep as spares. But even even still, I still like to collect extra tape decks from other stores. But it, I since I'm a collector, I I just like having lots, like you know, because you know, it, for example, if I was gonna move out one day, if I had ex an extra rooms, then maybe I should just have extra tape decks, so, so I have, so I don't have to just swap any. I could just use them in just in a certain room where I hook a tape deck up to. And mainly it was really easy for me because I've been great with sound equipment for almost seven years now. I remembered that um, when I learned how to connect um, certain um, equipment to the mixing board, like the tape decks and all that, and CD players and microphones like this, my wireless mic, and all that, it's really e quite simple because I just learn it and then I just get used to it. And it's sort of like, it's sort of like with electricity, like you know when you're connecting a light fixture, you're swapping from a light fixture to a ceiling fan, for example. That's still something you need that you would get used to. But this is sort of like electricity work too. When you swap a tape deck and all that, you just need RCA cables to um, make it work to hear yourself or to record yourself as well and or as well. And these two tape decks I have, they're hooked up both ways, um, line input and line output, which work really great. Um, and also, um, you, uh, we'll also be making um, another video one day in the future, this hope, hope sometime this year, when I make some changes, because I'm planning to make more changes again in this room later in the year. But it's really going to be quite exciting because things are going to be so much better. But I just want to wait until around the time when school is over. And like when summer kicks off, that's going to be very dope. Well, anyway, um, that's about it, what I want to say in this episode. And make sure you stay tuned for the next episode where I'll talk more about some awesome stuff.